So if you want to see application form entries, it's very easy. All you need to do is go to My Communications, go to Leads, click on Leads again, and then click on any of your leads, uh, any of the leads that have actually filled in an application form. And if you can't see any, just click on Search, uh, search Lead to actually type in the lead's name uh, so that you can see the application form entries. And then all you need to do is click on the lead itself and then in the custom field section here, this is where it will display the application form entries. Now, if they haven't actually entered anything in, uh, it will be blank. But if they have actually entered some uh, entries into the application form, it will appear here. So that's all you need to do. So you can see the application form entries. But if you want to do something even better than that, you can also email yourself application form entries. So you don't have to manually go to the lead and see what they've typed in. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to go to uh, where it says my forms on the left here and then go to custom fields and then here you'll see your application form entries and what you need to do is go to the questions and the ones that I've set up here are called question one example and question two example and you need to click on the edit icon and here for the field identifier, it's very important that you make sure this has no spaces. So there is a glitch in Kartra where even though on mine it has no spaces, when you're importing this into your account, it sometimes comes up with spaces. So just double check and make sure that there are no spaces in this section here. If there are any spaces, so if it says something like question uh, space one example, just delete the space or you can do an underscore like that. As long as there are no spaces, then everything will work. So do that for question one and also do that for question two as well. So no matter what fields you want to use, just make sure there are no spaces. So I just want you to double check that before doing the next step. And then obviously if you delete any spaces, you can click on save. And then once you've confirmed that there are no spaces in your custom fields, go to the top right and click on email notifications like this. And then go to where it says to your team. And then here, just scroll down to where it says lead fills in an opt-in form and then click on edit. And then scroll down again. And then where it says dynamic variables, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then where it says custom fields, you can click on this pencil icon and then select the custom field of your, um, of your application form. So let's do question one example, click on save, and you'll see that the custom field appears here. So you would copy that. So right click the text and click on copy. And then I've already done this on for my own fields on my application form, but let's just say you're doing it for yourself. Whatever question one is about, um, you would just put question one here. Obviously, you don't have to write question one. You can actually write whatever that question says. And then you paste the dynamic variable. So see how I've I basically copied this here and pasted it here. So that way, whatever the answer to question one is, it will appear here. And then if you want to do question two, you just do the same thing. Select question two from here. And then it will give you the code for question two to copy and paste here. And that's all you need to do to make it so that any application form entries, you'll also get an email notification about that as well. Now, just so you know, if anyone fills in the lead form, the opt-in form, you will still get an email. But if they haven't filled in an application form, then these questions will just be empty. But if they have filled in an application form, then you will be able to see their, uh, their responses here. So obviously it will only appear if they've actually filled in the application form. And in your version, um, I don't think it will say this. I just added this extra line here, just so it's clear that anyone who fills in this bit here, uh, this is basically people that have filled in an application form. So you can write some extra text if you want to as well. That's totally optional and up to you. And then when you're done, click on edit to save your changes. And then that's all you need to do so that you can get email notifications of any new application form entries.